this morning. Springtime brings warmer weather as the flowers start to come back, though your allergies might too. And you might even see those allergies in your pets as well. First news this morning, reporter Tim Neptune is live now with how you can help your dogs. Tim. Yeah, pretty much anything we're allergic to, dogs may be allergic to as well. That's tree pollen, grass pollen, ragweed. And I talked to a local veterinarian about all this. And she says cats and other pets may experience allergies, but it's more common with dogs. At the Austintown Veterinary Clinic, Dr. O'Neill has been seeing many dogs lately. She says some signs include your dog waking, waking you up in the middle of the night, scooting their back end and even hair loss. And just like we use Benadryl for our allergies, you can use the Benadryl for your pet's allergies as well. She says it is safe and she encourages owners to carry it with them this time of year. Right now, this time of year, dogs think bees are flying chew toys, so I tell people to have it on hand all the time for something like that. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to talk to your vet about what might be the best dose for your pet. If your dog is experiencing any symptoms, Dr. O'Neill says to take them to the vet to see what's going on. And to make sure they're happy and healthy, remember to look for those signs. Again, you can use Benadryl, but talk to your vet first for the dosage. And then there's flea prevention. Dr. O'Neill really stressed flea prevention. She says it can actually help many issues with your dog. In the newsroom, Tim Neptune, WKBN 27 First News.